Hi Stephen, it's Pat. Um, we're going to spend a couple of minutes, Richard's filming, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes just showing you what we developed as a, a kind of prototype for this uh, dual screen cappy. What we were trying to do is um, make it so that it was relatively simple for the interviewer. In other words, the solutions we've seen up to now are sort of two laptops and Wi-Fi and cables and God knows what. So what we actually did is we found this uh, gadget in the UK is about £50, £50, £60. It's a USB powered screen which takes its power and its video uh, down uh, a USB. I'm sure they're available uh, in uh, Asia and Australia. Um, and so that's what we've gone for. It's, uh, the resolution is 800 by 480. Um, it's a seven inch uh, screen. Seems to us to be pre plenty good enough for, um, for what we actually need. So let's get rid of the box. This is it. Um, we put a pretty long USB cable on it. Um, I think in principle you can go up to five or six meters. Um, and that's the only cable that you need. Um, and I'm just going to plug the USB end into my laptop here, plug it in the right way, um, and then literally turn it on, and it's on now. And there's a teeny weeny bit of driver software that you need to load on the laptop, um, and what this is doing by default is just literally extending the desktop. So I've got an extended desktop now, and if you just see, here's my mouse pointer on this screen, there's my mouse pointer on that screen. So. I'll just run Cappy, confirm it Cappy, standard build on my laptop. Here it is, I'll log in as me, pat underscore Cappy, pat underscore Cappy. Um, and it's the, I guess you're familiar with this by now, but it's the usual uh, screen. I've got a couple of surveys on here. This is a, a kind of demo survey for all the features. This is our test pop-up survey. So I'll run this. I just initiate a new survey. So the first thing that happens is that I get this, I get a question here and a pop-up window. We haven't found a way of automating this yet, but all the interviewer needs to do is drag this window over onto that screen over there and press F11 on the keyboard. And then that is, that's it. That's all the setup that the interviewer needs to do. Um, and then I'm just in my regular questionnaire here. So I hope you can see both screens. I say no, I go on, you can see that that screen popped up the next image. Uh, I say yes, and I go on, I get another image, I say no, I go on, I get another image. If I go backwards, I get the, the old images back up again. Um, boom, let's go forward again. And I've just got a kind of, oops, let's fill that in, a placeholder image on the end there, which is a Fermit logo. And then that's it. Um, and then start a new interview it pops up the new image. So it's um, you know entirely straightforward um, uh, confirm it script with a little bit of script to pop these images up. The whole thing exists as one survey. You can download it as uh, one complete package with all the multimedia. Um, and that's really it. It seems to us to be quite, um, well, very robust. If you plug this thing in and out, it all keeps working. Um, we haven't done any tests yet on kind of battery drain, but assuming the laptop has got a decent battery in it, um, should be plenty enough for a sort of one or two hour interview even, which I think is probably pushing the limits of it. But the great thing from the interviewer perspective is there's, it, it's really very, it's, it's easy peasy um, and incredibly low cost uh, compared with having two laptops and Wi-Fi and bits of wires and power supplies and God knows what. So um, I hope that uh, is, is sufficient for you to uh, get an idea of what we've done. And um, any questions, fire away. Thanks. Bye-bye.